Sam O'Reilly for Fight Talk here your call today with Victorious Dean Richardson. <laughs> How you feeling man? That was a great performance. Hey mate, over the moon. Um, it's been a frustrating seven months with three fights cancelled, so it's, it's good to get back in there and knockout's just a bonus really mate. He was a, he was a tough kid, so obviously yeah. you, were, you were due to have a different opponent, got changed, whatever, but he was a tough boy. Um, but you had a six rounder, so it gave you a bit of time to do some work in there anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to pay for an extra two rounds, didn't <laughs> get to do, but oh well. And you stopped it. Yeah, obviously yeah. seven months out um, yeah. for one, one reason or another. How did it feel getting back in there? Brilliant. I love, I love getting in there and just performing in front of friends and family. Best feeling in the world. It really is. Tell you. Hundred something tickets. Does it? Is it all? You're yeah. not getting, you keep getting these knockouts as well. I know, man. It's been, it's been a, it's been a tough day. This one. Ticket sales a bit slower than normal, but it just shows what great support I've got. I still, I still broke hundred tickets. You know, so. Uh, oh yes. Jamali's happy. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, so I know my, my support and uh, my fans, they're the best, they're, like you can say they're the best in the world, everyone will say their fans are the best in the world, but I feel like I've got such a, such a bond with them, all of them, they're close, they're close friends and family, so it's the best thing in the world performing in front of them. How did you, obviously, uh, you felt in there, but I mean, talking technically, you know, at your actual boxing, yeah. how, how did you feel you performed, you know, taking your shots and your, your timing and stuff like that? Yeah, well, like we said, I've had seven months out of the ring, so ring rust, I think could have been a factor or was going to be a factor um, but I've had great sparring I sparred Chris Eubank Jr Harlem Eubank Josh Kelly uh, JJ Metcalf so I've had, this is the best sparring I've had and I'm doing 10 rounds quite easily in, uh, in sparring leading up to it got in there I was thinking right he's short he's stocky he I think he has a wrestling background so I thought he's going to be oh, yeah? quite, quite strong on the inside so uh, I thought keep it arranged bombing them them long shots but he just wasn't he wasn't uncovering with the long shots so I thought you know what I can fight on the inside too I enjoy having a little bit of a war and he's gonna he's gonna let his shots go a bit which will give me openings and uh yeah so I changed it up and it yeah, showed. The, the left uppercut right hand that you finished him with yeah. was technically it was beautiful. It was a knockout, a highlight real knockout. Yeah. Um, did you know when that hit him that that's, he's going to stay hit for that yeah. one? I mean, I was hitting him with shots and he was laughing. I thought, keep laughing, mate. You're going to get hurt in a minute. I'm not being funny, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you are. And he just kept ducking his head for us. I thought, you know what? Left uppercut, right hook. I can... I didn't try and put too much into it because I know, I know I can naturally punch. I didn't try to. I mean, I did once fucking missed and <laughs> spun around. But yeah, I just thought, left uppercut, right hook, caught him clean. And I see him take a little step back and I thought, that's got him. He went down. And when I was walking back to the corner, I thought, he ain't getting up. And yeah, that was enough. You didn't, you didn't get to go six rounds. You finished, that was the fourth round. Yeah. Um, when, when can we expect to see you out again? Obviously, long time out, but you, you want yeah. to keep the... You keep ticking over and I keep, how many fights do you expect by the end of this year? I'd like to, ideally, um, I think July would be a bit close, I'm away in August, September might be a little bit early uh, for training camp, so October is realistic, and then if I can slip one in in December as well, I'd be more than happy, yeah. and then maybe again March, so yeah. Cool, you want to give a shout out to the sponsors? Yeah, sponsors. AJ Contracts, been a massive help from the beginning. Fairweather Insurance, massive help. On the back of I've got, yeah, got better, better Leisure Centre. Again, massive help, let me use that gym. I'd also like to shout the Amelia, uh, excuse me, Amelia May Foundation. They do great, great yeah, work with definitely, uh, definitely. children and their families. 100%. Well, listen, pleasure seeing you in there. Thank I've you, talked mate. to so many people about you as a prospect. We've now got a highlight of a knockout that we're going to throw around and everyone, everyone's going to know a bit more about Dean Richardson. Thank so. you, mate. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for talking to Fight Talk. Cheers, mate.